Thank you, Carl. My name is Adonis. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Do um, you guys have a friend that works at your location? Yeah, I can try and get you over to him one moment here. Please leave your message for 30935. He forwarded the call to me. That takes talent. This call may be monitored or recorded for training or quality control purposes. Thank you so much, Carl. Well, how can I help you today? Yes, is Colton in today? Give me one second. Can I just give you a name to so call in, please? Josh Ramsey. I tried his cell phone and I didn't didn't answer or pick up, so I wondered if he was possibly off today. We shall find out. Mr. Ramsey, did you mean to call the Provo store? We don't actually have a call in here. Did you mean to call another store? Um, no, that's the store I meant to call. Um, Colton is who I had for the general sales manager. What about uh, what about Fred? Is Fred available? Fred Rains? I can I can get you to Fred. Thank you. Okay, I'm sending you over to the um, Chevy store. You only are selling cops through the DVR store, but it's for gotcha. Thank you. The person at extension 4315 is unavailable. Sorry, but the user's mailbox can't accept more messages. Mr. Cole. Sorry, Mr. Cole. If you leave me a quick message, I'll be sure to get back with you. Bye. Hey, this is Josh Ramsey with Car Edge. We spoke yesterday about the GMC Acadia. I wanted to reach out to you, try to put this deal together. If you would, give me a shout back at your soonest convenience. For the service department, please press one. For sales, please press two. Thank you for calling. This is Brandon speaking for my help. Hey, Brandon, can I speak with Cody, please? Uh, sure. One second. Thank you. What I'm doing right now is I'm on the website looking at employee list the person at extension four one two seven is unavailable hey cody josh ramsey here with car edge i think we spoke uh, yesterday regarding the gmc acadia uh we briefly spoke about some figures and the availability if you wouldn't mind please return my call we'd like to lock that deal in you can also text that number feel free to reach me anytime thank you this is julie how can i help you Hey, Julie. Um, is Fred Rains available, please? I don't have anybody here by that name. This is... Correct? Uh-huh. And you want a Fred? Fred. F-R-E-D. I don't... No, I don't have a friend here. Is he, is he a salesman or is he in finance or service or... Well, we spoke yesterday to Cody and then about a vehicle. And then I got a text message from Fred wanting uh, to conversate I, about the vehicle I, some more. So... Perhaps it's your would business it be, development department. Would it be, we are associated with Ford and Dodge. We're all three here together. Would it be one of those two? Um, I don't have anybody here. It, it, yeah, I mean, it would, it's at the, I think they're at the, it's at the Dodge store. The vehicle is. Okay. Then let me send you over to Dodge and I'll be able to help you. Just one moment, please. Thank you. Very confusing. Dealer doesn't know their own operation. The person at extension. My goodness. Four. This one's um, starting to get obnoxiously abnormal. Be a tough dealer to buy a car from if you were an everyday consumer. Thank you for calling. Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. This call may be monitored or recorded at the for Dodge training store. for quality control purposes. Thank you, My name is Adonis. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Do um, you guys have a friend that works at your location? I do. Is he available by chance? Uh, let me check for you. Give me one moment here. Thank you. Hey, thank you for holding. So Fred is actually off today. Can I take a message for him? So uh, what is the GSM's name at that location there? I spoke with him originally, and then Fred had reached out. So I'd like to speak with the GSM, actually. I just didn't have his name directly. Okay. Yeah, I can try and get you over to him one moment here. What is his name, sir? What was that, sir? You're breaking up. I'm sorry. What is his name? George. George. Thank you. Please leave your message for 30935. He forwarded the call to me. That takes talent. For the service department, please press one. For sales. For the service department, please press one. For sales. This call may be monitored or recorded for training or quality control purposes. <laughs> Hey, Brandon, it's Josh. We just spoke. Um, you forwarded me on to 
George's number and somehow you forwarded me to my own cell phone. Um, <laughs> I was calling myself. I got my own voicemail. Oh. That was unique. So if you don't mind, can I explain the situation here? I don't know what seems to be the challenge. We spoke yesterday to someone at your dealership and I was told the vehicle's available and I got a price. We want to lock in that unit and it doesn't seem that anyone's available. I don't know if, if you don't mind putting me on hold and seeing if you can find somebody that's available currently. I, everybody that you're sending me to yes, is sir. either full voicemail and I can't leave a message or back to myself. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm not in the dealership. I'm off site. So uh, let me see if I can get a receptionist or someone else on and uh, they'll be able to find someone for you. But... Yep, I'm willing to wait, please. <laughs> His dealers have third-party calling centers that do a piss-poor job at best. Hey, Josh, uh, I've tried multiple extensions. No one is picking up at the moment. Uh, can I take a message and get someone to call you back? Do you mind trying Blaine? B-L-A-I-N? Blaine? Uh, sure, I'll try. Thank you. So we've got the dealer muted right now. Blaine, I looked it up on Google Reviews, and Blaine's name is mentioned a lot specifically on an out-of-state deal. Customers have reviewed him, so hopefully Blaine can be our star. A lot of times I have success sourcing through a successful salesman at the shop. So we'll try this. One thing to keep in mind is I've already contacted this dealer and got the general sales manager's name and phone number and got an out the door verbally, just to check on fees, if you will. It's a good deal, customer approved it. Now we're just trying to lock it in. I'm sure, yeah, he didn't ask her either. My goodness. I guess <clears throat> let's try one other individual that has come mentioned. Emily okay. Schramm. Sh Sh Sharam. I'm not sure how to pronounce okay. that last name. Yeah. Or John Martin, whichever of those two, perhaps. Okay. So John's name's been mentioned a couple of times in reviews. He's a non pushy salesman. Someone mentioned they came in from out of state. John Martin mentioned again. Says he's an Irishman. We probably get along good. Hopefully John picks up the phone. Hey Josh, uh, yeah, no luck you didn't pick up either. Amazing. We're we're just um we're we're nothing but consistent today. That's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> um <laughs> So we shot for John. What about Emily? Did we give Emily a shot? Uh, I don't have her uh, extension, so I wasn't able to call to her. And there's there's not a receptionist or a front desk that you can get a hold of? Uh, no, sir. That's probably why they get routed to our lot. They, either it's like super busy over there and nobody can come to the phone at the moment. Or, but yeah, that's why you got routed to us because no one is over there to pick up at the moment. Let's try something off the wall just to see if we can get a hold of somebody there. The general manager would be a good option, I think, at this point, to be honest. And if okay. you need his name, I can give that to you. I got to look it up briefly. It's Drew. Drew. Uh, it's, yes, sir. Yeah, let me try it. Give me one second. Thank you, sir. Hello, Josh. Yes, yeah, and no love. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. I appreciate all your help, really. Um, <laughs> let's. Uh, no problem. Let's just start firing phone. Just, I mean, whoever you got extension to in sales. I mean, John Martin is my number one choice. Um, if you don't mind trying him again, okay. maybe. Okay. Yep, still no luck. Hmm. Who would you connect me with then? I guess just let's shoot from the hip. Yes, sir. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I even did the number where we ring all the salespeople. It's just, I'm guessing they all got guests in front of them. I'm not sure. I can't get a response from anybody. Sure, sure. Um, and uh, you can't get the front desk either. Again, I mean, I can't even leave a voicemail oh, or yeah. a message. Yeah, it just keeps restarting over. Yeah, right. Not a, Are you able to take yeah, a message? I'm not sure. How about? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is Josh Ramsey. Phone number is three zero nine. And if someone would call me back as soon as possible, we're trying to buy a car. I got you. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll leave it in there. Hopefully, someone will respect us. All right, my friend. Thank you for all of your help. All right, my pleasure. Hey, you. Me too. Calling this BMW X5 for a client. She wanted a black option, a black on black. I just found that while I was sitting on hold. To provide the very best service, this call may be recorded. Has the option she wants. Ventilated Thank seats, repeated seats. 
If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For sale, please press 1. Good afternoon. This is Chelsea. Hi, me. I'm Director Paul. Good morning, Chelsea. Or good afternoon, I guess. I'm sorry. Josh Ramsey is my name. Calling on me uh, on a vehicle to see if it's still in stock. Are you able to help me with that? Okay. Uh, what type of vehicle? It's a 2024 BMW X5. Okay. One moment, please. Thank you. Thank you for calling. A member of our staff will be with you shortly. This is JJ. How can we help you today? JJ, Josh here. How you doing, brother? I'm doing very well, Josh. I hope you are too. Thank you. Um, so I was calling to see if a uh, particular vehicle's in stock and still available. I can give you a stock number. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and give me that stock number. V is in Victor, H is in Hotel, 96, I'm sorry, 4961. Just a moment, get, um, sound like it's one of our trucks. Uh, it's a BMW SUV. All right, computer is going. It's thinking, but it's going. Give me just a moment. Sure, thank you. 2024 BMW X5, 31,000 miles. Uh, priced at 50990 black. Uh, yes, yes it is. This one's available. Okay. Um, are you able to help me with getting some figures on this unit? Like an out-the-door price on a worksheet or a bill sale? Sure, I'll be able to do that for you. Okay. You say your first name is Josh. What's your last name, Josh? Uh, Ramsey. And just to introduce myself and be uber transparent with you, JJ, um, I'm with Car Edge, we're a concierge service. We're, we're a third party that's hired by the customer to help them locate vehicles. We're not brokers. We don't charge the dealer any type of fee. Customers hire us and pay us for our service. So uh, I got a customer that's looking for a black on black X5 with some specific options that this one has. As long as the numbers jive and everything looks good on paper, I think we're progressing towards a deal here. So if, if the next step is if you could help me um, just get some figures put together, I'd like to present those to her and try to get this deal locked in with you. And I can provide you with any of the client's information that you would need so that you can figure taxes or whatnot properly. Sure, sure. Um, but I need to send the numbers to you. Is that correct? Yes. I can give you my email address if you don't mind. Yeah, how about an email and phone number? That'll, that'll work. Yep. Uh, phone number is 309 and email address is 30. I'm sorry. Email address is Josh. Um, do we need to include sales tax on this? Yeah, uh, I'll give you the zip code. Out the door. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What is that zip code? Two nine seven zero eight. Two nine seven zero eight. Okay. Give me a little bit. We'll work on it. I'll call you right back and I'll shoot it to you as well. Perfect. I really appreciate it. Look forward to getting that and wrapping this up with you guys. All right. Sounds good to me too. Thanks, JJ. Call back the GSM. I'm assuming he's off today. That's why he's not picking up. I'm going to try to sneak in through the back door. Call the service department. For the service department, please press one. For sales, please press two. Hello, it's Josh. Hey, Josh, this is Colton over Hey, Colton, how you doing, man? Good, how are you doing? Good, sorry for blowing your phone up, brother. You guys are tough, oh, tough people to get a hold of, and I'm glad you're busy, obviously. So <laughs> yeah. it's a good problem to have, right? Yep, yep. Awesome. Hey, thanks for calling me back. Seriously, I've got this deal wrapped up for you guys on this Acadia. We just need to communicate and kind of go through the paces. Um, okay. Can you help with getting me a worksheet or a bill of sale just so for obvious reasons? So we have that on, on record and the customer can just look over that. And then I'd like to get you a deposit. However, you guys go about that. If it's a credit card over the phone, what have you, I can have the customer reach out so that we can okay. do that. Okay, perfect. Would, would, would you be able to text me the, con the uh, customer's information? Yep. So that way I can put put together a bill of sale for you and get it sent over. Heck yeah, man. Is this um is this your cell phone number? Yeah, this is my cell. Okay. So I assume you were busy and you couldn't get to it. I I apologize again. Yep. No, you're you're good, dude. No worries. Okay. Um, so I'll text you this stuff. If you would just load a bill of sale. I'll give you my email address in the text as well, if you would shoot that over. And okay. then um I would like to connect you and the customer today so that you guys can lock that in. Um, awesome. But yeah, call it a deal. We're good to go on everything on our end. They've approved it, husband and wife both. Sweet. Sounds good. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you too. Thank you for calling me back. Uh, I will look forward to um, getting an email from you shortly. I'll text you as soon as we get off the phone here. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Take care, man. Persistence. We should have two bill of sales coming for a BMW and a um, GMC Acadia. Goodness. Review those when we get them and go to the next steps.